All right, guys, so my last video regarding the Bumblebee Tuna uh, got a lot more attention than I expected it, and it really started to get more views when I began looking for a lawyer to file a class action lawsuit. Um, whether I'm going to do that, I don't know, uh, but I, I am considering it. Anyways, I'm so uh, positive that this is a systemic problem that uh, I, I went ahead and got a new uh, new box of the Bumblebee Chunk Light Tuna. And I'm just going to open it up right here on camera for you and show you that this, this is a very common thing with Bumblebee Tuna. All right, this, isn't, this is not just something that just randomly happens. All right, so it's lunchtime. I'm going to go ahead and open one of these and let you see. Now, because I my video was a short uh, people were criticizing me for for editing it and making it into a short video so that's why i'm going to go ahead and show you the fu a full unedited video today right here you can see clearly it says dry weight four ounces all right so we're going to test that all right here right here i got a nickel all right this is to test the scale just so you can see it's on grams all right a nickel it's supposed to be five grams. You can clearly see it says five grams. All right, let's go ahead and turn that off just so you can see the scales. Nothing wrong with the scale. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open it for you. Matter of fact, somebody asked to weigh the whole can, so I'll go ahead and weigh the whole can unopened. All right, whole can unopened. Let's put it on ounces. All right, ounces 6.17 ounce the whole can all right i'm gonna go ahead and open it we'll drain the liquid all right let's go ahead and drain some of the liquid in here first Still a bunch of liquid in there, as you can see, just liquid, no chunks yet. All right, we'll go ahead and get a coffee filter. All right, we're gonna take. Uh, let's weigh weigh how much we've taken out of there. Now it's 4.9 ounces. All right, let's take the lid off. All right, make sure there's no tuna on the lid. Gotta, gotta account for all the little tuna that's in here. All right, let's go ahead and get, let's scrape that back in there. Scrape that back in there, all right. That lid by itself is 0.25 ounce, so let's take that off side to the side. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this tuna right here into the coffee filter. as much as it of this out of the can as I can. Alright. Get it off of the spoon. Alright, that's the can. So got a little bit in there. Tiny little bit, but not much to make a difference. Let's, how much does it weigh empty? Alright. 0.85 ounces. Alright. Let's go ahead and get all that off of the spoon. Very little bit on my fingers. Alright. Spoon's clean, fingers clean, all of it's in this coffee filter. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and squeeze that out of there. Now I can tell you just by looking at this, it's way more than I typically get. Okay, this is way more, way more tuna than I usually get in a can. Okay, from Bumblebee tuna. All right. Oh, there's a little chunk. Go ahead and let's get that water out of there. It's still wet. I mean, the water is just flowing. Okay, that's what we're get. We're, we're just get, we're not gonna dry this out in an oven or anything. 
We're just gonna squeeze it dry, okay? I think this is this is a fair test. Alright. Let's see what it says. I'll leave the bag on there. I'll leave the coffee filter on there. What is it now? That's 2.72 ounces, okay? Just water. And this isn't dry yet. This is not, this is still not dry, okay? So let's keep squeezing it. I mean, that's even with the coffee filter on there. As you can see, it's still clearly dripping, okay? Some people were criticizing me for doing this, trying to say that, oh, I did some kind of deceptive editing and, and uh, maybe I should in include the weight of the can because that might be included in the dry weight. Well, all right, for that guy that probably worked at Bumblebee Tuna that wanted me to include the weight of the can, right? Here's the can, here's the dry tuna inside of a coffee filter. Still not four ounces, okay? What's that say? 3.39, is that showing up on the camera? Yes, it is, okay, 3.39 without, without can. Oh, oh, let me get that little piece on there. 2.54, okay? That's to include this coffee filter, all right? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and mix this in with my mayonnaise and with my celery and pickles, and I'm going to have lunch. But I, I wanted you guys to see unedited video, okay, because... There's a lot of people that were watching that video recently and they were leaving these comments trying to make it seem like I was being deceptive, trying to make it seem like uh, or, or get trying to give the benefit of the doubt to Bumblebee Tuna. All right. They, they, they tried to make it seem like somehow I'm a bad guy because I'm complaining about my tuna being 2.5 ounces right or 2.29 ounces in the last video when very clearly on the can right here it says four ounces dry weight let me see if i can show you what i'm talking about let me see here all right i guess the I guess the camera doesn't want to but go ahead you 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 buy yourself your own bumblebee chunk light tune and weigh it for yourself and then leave leave some kind of disparaging comment on my channel about the way that I posted the video right or the way I edited the video just to turn it into a short well I, I hate to break it to you all right but a video short on YouTube can only be a minute long so I'm sorry for editing the video last time but I had to edit it uh, to get it into a short anyways uh, I wanted to show that to you because some people were asking me to do this video and other people were uh, trying to criticize me for the way that I edited my last video into a short. So here you go. Here it is. And for those who said the dry weight includes the can, let's include the can again. Let you see right there on camera. 3.39 ounces uh, uh, dry can included. I guess I guess they expect you to eat the can or something. I don't know. Uh, obviously must have been a person working for Bumblebee Tuna that left that comment. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And as always, don't forget, help out your neighbors.